All right, you guys, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I'm going to try this again. You know how the enemy is, you guys. All right, so everything's back up and working. So the Illinois mayor signs executive order granting power to ban sale of guns, alcohol while addressing the coronavirus. Now, y'all know this is this was on March 13th. So anyway, the mayor of Champaign, Illinois, gave herself the power to ban the sale of guns and alcohol after declaring a citywide emergency to address the coronavirus. Mayor Debbie Frank Fiend signed the executive order on Thursday declaring a state of emergency for the city. Now that order, which is lined up with municipal code, comes with extraordinary powers for the mayor to enact over a short period of time as the city combats the virus. So here's the things. I'm doing all this again, you guys. Among the powers gained after signing the executive order was the power to ban the sale of guns, ammunition, alcohol, and gasoline. Fine also could cut off access to individuals gas, water, or electricity. The city also has the ability to take possession of private property or order the temporary closing of all bars and liquor stores. So uh, I'm just saying that this is kind of like, that. that's a lot. That's martial law. So I had to do this video like three times over so y'all already know the enemy, you know, regardless of what's going on here. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to be in the know of what's going on because that's martial law. I mean, it don't take all that. What you want to turn off somebody gas and light? I mean, I, I thought it was a medical issue, right? But it just goes to show you. So I want y'all to go and I want y'all to see what happens with martial law. That's what martial law is. Go ahead and look at it for yourselves. Um, it is the abolishment of private property. It is everything that they that you have control of. And I'm just saying they need to stop playing this game and just say, hey, we're doing a dry run, a test run, a short run for martial law just to see how y'all going to act and what y'all going to do and what we need to do. Because that's what they doing. Point blank. Ain't no corona and no virus. Oh, it's a couple, there's some corona in the store. but And this virus is that they made. Come on, somebody. Y'all know this is man-made. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it's something simple. It's not even real. So I'm just on the wall, not trying to install fear. But the Bible says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We will never not no, come on, somebody. Hello, you God gonna always make sure we know what's going on. But this thing right here, um, what she's doing, that's crazy. She should not, she should not be given that much power. No, no, no. I mean, I thought it was about the people. So if it's about the people, why why executive orders to gain and then also the bell, the the ban the sale of guns, alcohol, and all this other stuff. Y'all better catch a clue what's going on. And it's not to put you in fear, but it is to put you in faith. Because guess what? I'm gonna tell y'all, and now I'm going straight up on the spirit of this. Let me tell y'all something with God why God is allowing this. Because America have lost their mind. Yes, yes, yes. We have become Babylonian. We don't care about nobody. We don't even care about each other. Family treat each other. Um, family, other crazy. I can't even talk because it's so real. I mean, and God is allowing all this stuff so we can come back to the basics. What is the basics? Y'all better get y'all lives together and quit treating people crazy because you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know where you're going to go, especially if you're acting like, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Everybody like to put some little wings on people. Well, they made it to heaven. Did they really make it to heaven? Because if you live like hell on earth, don't act like you're going to heaven. And you can get mad at me if you want. I know we don't know who go to heaven and we don't go to, go to hell. But I do know this. The Bible is real. The Bible says that you cannot enter into the kingdom of God living any kind of way. So that's what's happening. That's why all this stuff is happening. Because God is calling us back to the order of him. God is calling us to stop acting silly. God is calling us to return to him. God is calling us to repent. That's why all this is going down. Ain't about no just coronavirus. Y'all better understand God. Because God is still in control. Why is he allowing it? That's what people should be understanding right now. Why is God allowing all this to come up on us? Come on somebody. Hallelujah. It's time for us to get it together. So this is what I feel in my spirit. Get your house together. Get your head together. Get your life together and stop playing, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we truly are. Y'all better stop playing with God. Hallelujah.